coincidence. It must be destiny. Oh, so you guys came here too. It's our very own special headquarters. There are so many memories here. Yo there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow, but I was feeling too restless, so I decided to come here. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? Ooh, let's have steak! Steak! And make Yosuke pay for everything! <laughs> Will you shut up about your steaks? I really had fun in this world. Dude, your whole existence is about fun. Well, what we've gone through wasn't all fun in games. But I gotta say, I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. We won't ever gather here again like this, or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. Come to think of it, for me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. I think I heard about it from her too. How did you learn about it, Chie? I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. Huh, I wonder how it started then. Who knows? Maybe someone accidentally came across it? The Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things again. Didn't that Amino something monster say it granted us power? I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability, so that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? Does that mean you're an exception? Well, wait, then what about Adachi and Namatame? Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about personas, right? What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other reason? Then there must be something you're not remembering. Anything come to your mind, Senpai? A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. Huh? This is from jail? It's from Adachi. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this world. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. So I hope this will give you something to think about regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. It's about how it all started, about that midnight channel. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town before I heard the rumors at the station. And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatame's reports as well. But I can't remember who it was that told me. Since Namatame and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow.
When I'm here, I think of Dojima-san, Nanako-chan, and you. A lot. Though my time with you didn't seem like much fun before, it's strange. Despite it all, I'm grateful to you. Thank you. But let me just say this. You're a dumbass. You take the path you choose, and I'll think about what that means to me, too. I doubt I'll ever see you again, but stay healthy. Goodbye. helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. It's like... I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see. That world. The midnight channel. The ability to enter TVs. They all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors. Then the serial murder, followed by us deciding to investigate the case. If they all really were separate, they wouldn't fit together like this, right? There has to be some kind of conductor behind everything. So you think the person Adachi mentioned, the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, is that conductor? Uh, did I strike gold again? <laughs> it's seriously just something that popped into my head! Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? Involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme... Could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? So someone was behind the scenes watching us, the culprits, and maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning so everything would come together perfectly? Let's go out into town. We might find something. Although, you may be the only one capable of noticing it. Please contact the rest of us should you come across anything. We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. Let's go figure this out. Hmm? 
you already meet all your friends? Hmm? What's this all of a sudden? The day you first came to town? Hmm, let's see. We were the first ones to greet you, right? Did we stop somewhere on the way home? I'm pretty sure Nanako and I left home that afternoon, picked you up, and came straight back. <laughs> now that I think back to that night, I was called back to work as soon as we got home, so I couldn't talk much. And the very next day, those strange murders started. Sheesh. Lots happened since then. It's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? Hey, big bro. On the first day, didn't we stop at that place? The gas station. I used the bathroom there. When I got back to the car, you were talking to the weird attendant. Yeah, when I first met you, I remember the gas attendant because he was weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. I filled the tank before you went home, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I do remember you talking to the attendant there. I didn't remember seeing him much before, so he stuck in my mind. But I don't know about calling him weird. It wasn't like he looked or acted funny. Yeah, come to think of it, I, I never saw that guy again. Mm, it wasn't really that the attendant looked weird. But after you talked to him, you looked sick, big bro. Mm, don't you remember? I asked you on the way home. Are you car sick? You said you were okay, but... That attendant, he was just a little scary for some reason. Hmm. Well, I didn't know about that. But honestly, I'm surprised you're asking all these questions. I thought you came here just to reminisce. So, why are you looking for the person you met first? Is something going on with that attendant? Do you know him? I see. Well, just remember that you leave tomorrow. I don't know what you're up to, but you should come back home early. There are some dark clouds on the horizon. We might get some rain soon. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Hmm. What may that be? Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. <gasps> wow, that's a lot. Ah, this is a surprise. These are shards of power allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Then I shall play my part as well. That 
is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Hey, I remembered something about myself. I was born a long, long time ago. I was the unconscious wish shared by people's minds to protect the world of man, walk the path of man, fulfill the wish of the world. That was my role. But people changed. People stopped wishing for truth and life. Or maybe they just stopped paying attention. Eventually, the me that wanted to protect humanity and the me that wanted to fulfill humanity's wish couldn't stay as one. The desires of man had no bounds, and one day, my other half became its own existence, much larger than myself. I was left behind, with no power or memories. I became a tiny fragment, incapable of even clearing the fog without giving my own life to do so. Kusumi no Okami. The rest, you already know. Without my powers, I became a tool, manipulated by the other me. You already know, huh? The cause of it all. The one who created the Midnight Channel and gave you the power to enter the TV. The real Puppet Master, who tried to fill both worlds with fog, using me and the Sagiri. If you don't defeat her, the world will never be truly clear of that fog. Go. Follow what you believe in. The truth is right in front of you. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous! It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end, one beyond our predictive power. Now go to the place where everything began.
You really are troublesome. Not only did you defeat the two Sagiri I snuck into Adachi and Namatame, but you even saved that stunted dwarf of a life. <laughs> it's such a foolish thing. What good is saving her life? She is but rubbish. Suitable only for getting rid of that pointless fog. Hmm? <laughs> Don't tell me she was still carrying that around. Oh, excuse me. I was talking about that bamboo comb you have on you. Yes, I know. After all, it is a symbol of separation, which is why I gave it to her as we parted ways. How foolish. That comb was a curse. And to think she treasured it all this time. She must have been desperate for something to cling to. <sighs> There's a limit to how irresponsible you can get. Hmm? And what are you going to do about it? The last battle wasn't enough for you. You certainly have the powers I was expecting. You must know by now. Isn't that why you came? Your friends were drawn to the spark I stirred in you. That's why they're here now, with their awakened powers. Still, I didn't think you'd make it all the way to me. Indeed. I never expected this at all. You're really something. What? You don't remember? When you first came to town, I gave your power a gentle push. Just like... This. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. You're not the only one I welcome to town with a handshake greeting. I did the same for a few other outsiders like you. A handful of strangers were more than sufficient to stimulate a small place like this. But it seems the stimulus was stronger than I imagined. Enough to envelop this town with fog. And later lift it. Not only that, you now stand before me as if your assigned part wasn't enough. What for? What will grasping the truth do for you? Why such greed? I guess it's the foolish nature of being mortal. I am Izunami. Amano Sagiri, ruler of the fog, is merely an aspect of myself that I birthed long ago. You awakened to a power I had not imagined. You, you defeated, defeated the, the two Sagiri, Sagiri and the, the one fragment born from me. me. And, and now, now here you stand, stand face, face to face, face with me. me. I can no longer ignore this situation as mere foolishness. This may be fate, as decreed by the world. Very well. This time I shall pit my full strength against you. But in return, you must come prepared to follow through in your futile resistance. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you there. Hey! 
Are you all right? Who was that you were just talking to? Did she just disappear? Wait, don't tell me. So, it wasn't over after all. You're saying this so-called Izanami is the conductor, and she's waiting for us in the other world? If we don't beat her, I'm sure it'll all happen again. Oh, okay. The others aren't far off, so I'll call them up. Yeah, will ya? Tell them this is really gonna close the case. Right. We'll defeat her and put an end to this for sure this time. All right. Then once we're all ready, let's meet up at Juness. a tremendous presence. It's unlike anything we had faced, and it seems like a new area has formed. I bet it's that lady. She's waiting for us there. That reminds me. That Amino something we beat said stuff like, we'll meet again. If that thing's gonna show up again, let's crush him completely so he can't cause any more problems from here on out. Damn straight. Let's go snap that thing in two. We'll do it and give Senpai a big farewell tomorrow. Let's do our best like always, leader. It is kind of sad that this... really is gonna be the last time we do something like this. You know, this might sound like a weird thing to say, but it was a lot of fun. That's because we all strove together toward a common goal. There were many things we believed in without questioning them. The culprit's identity, their motives, there were many occasions where we nearly gave up. It may have been easier if we'd chosen to look the other way, but we didn't. Even if we had to fight every inch of our way, I want to go on feeling, seeing, touching, and thinking for myself. Yeah. Still, one person alone can only understand so much. That's why we're all here together. Right! All for one and one for all! So long as someone's got your back, you can kick against the pricks no matter how tough they are. This is for our future! So we can see him off tomorrow with no regrets. Ew. Yosuke always has to try to make himself look all cool. But he's so pathetic it makes my skin crawl. Probably just fleas on your ratty old suit. I spilled juice on you earlier. No wonder I smell of orangey freshness. Well then, let's do this. <laughs> 